Though yet of him what's death, the memory may be green, and that it is us befitted to bear our hearts in grief. Yet so far has discretion fought with nature, that we with wisest sorrow think on him. Together with remembrance of ourselves, our sister, our queen, have we, as it were, with a defeated joy, with mirth and funeral, and dirge and marriage, an equal scale weighing delight and dull, taken to wife for all our thanks. My cousin Hamlet and my son, a little more than kin and less than kind. How is it that the clouds still hang on you? Not so, my lord, for I am too much in the sun. Good Hamlet, cast thy nighted color off. And let thine eye look like a friend on Denmark. Do not forever seek for thy noble father in the dust. All that lives must die. Aye, madam, it is common. If it be, why seems it so particular with thee? Seems, madam? Nay, it is. I know not seems. Tis not alone in my inky cloak, good mother, nor windy suspiration of force and breath, together with all the shapes of grief that can denote me truly. These indeed seem, for their actions man might play. But I have that within, which passeth show, these but the trappings and the suits of woe. Tis commendable in your nature, Hamlet, to give these morning duties to your father, which persevere in obstinate condolence is a course of impious stubbornness. Tis unmanly grief. We pray you, throw to earth this unprevailing woe, and remain here, for you are the most immediate to our throne. Let not thy mother lose her prayers, Hamlet. I pray thee, stay with us. I shall my best to obey you. Tis a fair reply. Madam, come. <sighs> oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt, or that the everlasting had not fixed his cannon against self-slaughter. Oh God, how weary, unprofitable, seem to me all the uses of this world. Two months dead. Nay, not so much. So excellent a king. So loving to my mother, and yet, within a month, let me not think on it. Frailty, thy name is woman. It is not, nor cannot come to good. But break my heart, for I must hold my tongue. Hail to your lordship. I am glad to see you well, Horatio, or do I forgive myself? The same, my lord. What is your affair in Elsinore? My lord, I came to see your father's funeral. I think it was to see my mother's wedding. Indeed, my lord, it followed hard upon. Thrift, thrift, Horatio. The funeral baked meats did coldly furnish the marriage tables. My father, methinks I see my father. Where, my lord? In my mind's eye, Horatio. My lord, I think I saw him yesterday. Go. Saw? Who? For God's love, let me hear. Two knights together had Marcellus and Bernardo on their watch. A figure like your father appeared before them. Thrice he walked by their fear surprised eyes. I with them, the third knight, kept walk. The apparition comes. I do, your father. Hold you the watch tonight? We do, my lord. I will watch tonight. Perchance twill walk again. I warrant it will. If it assume my noble father's person, I'll speak to it. Upon the platform, twixt eleven and twelve, I'll visit you. Our duty to your honor. Farewell. But I have that within with patches. <laughs> I shall my best to obey. Madam, come. I think it was to see my mother's funeral. Damn it, my mother's. <laughs> <laughs>